హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ సో మీ సార్ నేను చేసారు వెల్కమ్ టు డైరెక్ట్ మరణ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ టుడే వీల్ బి డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ ఎంఈఓ క్లాస్ ఫోర్ దర్ ఎలిజిబిలిటీ దర్ సిలబస్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఫీస్ దట్ మీ నీడ్ టు పే సర్టిఫికేట్స్ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద టోటల్ సో లెట్ సే వీ కెన్ సే ఫర్ అప్లైంగ్ ఎంఈఓ క్లాస్ ఫోర్ సో లెట్ మీ వీ నీడ్ టు నో వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఎలిజిబిలిటీ వాట్ ఆర్ ద క్రైటీరియా వెదర్ వీ ఆర్ ఫుల్ఫిల్లింగ్ ఇట్ ఆర్ నాట్ సో హియర్ వీ ఆర్ వీ ఆర్ బేసికలీ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ దట్ ఎస్పెక్ట్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ సో బేసికలీ వీ అన్న దట్ మెయిన్లీ దిస్ కోర్స్ ఎంఈఓ క్లాస్ ఫోర్ దట్ మీన్స్ మరణ ఇంజనీర్ ఆఫీసర్ దిస్ ఎంఈఓ క్లాస్ ఫోర్ ఫోర్త్ ఇంజనీర్ లెవెల్ ర్యాంక్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ దిస్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ ఆర్ ఆల్ కండక్టెడ్ బై మెయిన్లీ బై ఎంఎండీస్ మోస్ట్లీ వీ అన్న దట్ దర్ ఆర్ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎంఎండి ఎంఎండి ముంబై చెన్నై కొచ్చిన్ నోయిడా విశాఖ విశాఖపట్నం కోల్కత్తా ద డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎంఎండి ఆల్ ఓవర్ ఇండియా సో వీ కెన్ సెలెక్ట్ వే ఫ్రమ్ వర్ వీ నీ టు రైట్ ద from which uh, under which we need to do exam and all here mba means marine engineer officer so it is the first competency exam um, that we need to appear after having a sailing experience as a tme or junior engineer or engineering cadet and all so let's see what are the eligibility of a mba class 4 exam so basic eligibility so basically it means we need to have sailing period and propulsion period so first we need to look sailing period if you are sailed in a motor ship you need to ensure that at least you are having a minimum 6 months that is 183 days sailing period and in a steam vessel also same that means minimum 6 months 183 days we need when you sail in combined steam and motor vessel that is combined vessel that we you need 8 months that means 4 months on motor and 4 months on steam and for in the case of propulsion period we need you need for motor if you sail in a motor ship there it should have a propulsion period of 121 days that means minimum of 4 month the same in the case of a steam as well as 121 days for combined steam and motor 6 month unit that means 3 month on motor and 3 month on steam so that means propulsion days sailing period will be 183 days and propulsion 121 days okay 121 days at least your propeller should be running that's what we here, here they mean that all and engine power the main engine power it should be minimum 750 kilowatt you have to ensure that you have sailed in a vessel that is having engine power of 750 kilowatt minimum that should, uh, should be above 750 that's what they mean and we should need a sea service letter proper sea service letter before uh, we need to apply for the exam and all for verification purpose and all so let's see what are the courses that we need to do before applying for mbo class 4 exam and all so let's see what are the courses so that the directed mmd as they decided to make this their e learning process and all so it's a mandatory we need to do e learning for stcw courses also we need to do e learning after that there will be assessment then we need to to do the course physically from the colleges and all then after that there will be having exit exam similarly for the case of e learning also there will be having an uh, e, sorry in the case of mbo class 4 we need to do have e learning about the 6 or 7 written subjects we need to do e learning that is 180 hours e learning and after that we have to do assessment exam then only we, our if we get up, if we is approved then only our application will get approved even though if we submit all documents then only we will be get eligible to book the exam slot and all so we have to ensure that we have to do this e learning that is 180 hours e learning for the uh, mba class for exam it is a mandatory nowadays so after 6 month of onboard training so what are the courses that we need to do is uh, mainly uh, medical first aid advanced fire fighting then proficiency survival craft rescue boat engine room simulator these are the four courses and i am with that we can do high voltage and all then as per our requirements we can do tasco and all that means uh, advanced course of tanker and all we need to do that's according to our depends upon what percent you have said and all that but this course medical first aid advanced fire fighting then proficiency in survival craft rescue boat and engine room simulator and at least high voltage also this i will say high voltage also this five are mandatory that we need to do if you do this then it's better here yeah, we know that for this course and all almost when you at least google it and all you will get uh, what are the best uh, marine engineering uh, colleges mtis that are providing marine engineering training for this type of courses and all then certificate required to register for meo class 4 so let's see what are the certificate that required to register for meo class 4 okay so basically it's a, so let's say i am selling a random way so when you apply 
for the mo class for they will uh, from the mmd they uh, after they will give your uh, they will give your reply mail in that they will uh, have in details about what are the things or the sub, uh, documents when the, we need to submit it there will be having a pdf so we need to download the pdf and in the pdf there will be show, they will be showing about what are the things or the documents that we need to submit it so so i am here i am discussing about some basic means uh, passport cdc with the proper entry of cdc we have to ensure that cdc there will be a proper stamp and all our company stamp or ship stamp should be there we have to be ca- ensure that whether we are having a proper entry of c service it is in that and class 10 certificate that is our sslc certificate and the pl- 10 plus 2 or diploma certificate then graduation certificate whether we are btech or gme candidate our graduation certificate should be there then pre c training certificate that means whether the college that you have done our your course btech or ge be or ge or and all we have to ensure that then or gme you have to uh, submit your gadget certificate then pre c training certificate then we have to also submit c service letter from the, our company that we have said we have to submit the c service letter with the proper details and signature okay then then we have to ensure that c service testimonies c service testimonies we need, that means that we will get the from the uh, company that means uh, this testimonies means uh, when you are in the ship so maybe from the our vessel sometimes we will have uh, during our contract the sailing period there will be have two or three maybe two uh, chief engineers will get changed so we need to got a sea service letter from each get testimonies from each uh, chief engineer separately so that means during your sailing there were two chief engineers changed means you have to have in two sea service letter then we have to submit all stcw certificates then all advanced modular certificates and all we need to be kept in hand nowadays uh, the modular certificate and all will be e certificate so we just keep the soft copy of that then so what are the subjects and for what are the subjects and all that we need to have we are having in the for the mo class for exam and all mo class for means it basic concept two parts that is part a and part b for part b is purely basically i am a btech and gme btech candidate so for me and gme candidates and all this part a is exception so we don't need to do that for part b candidate uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a compulsory for all candidates but part a for for gme candidate it's a exception then part b mainly um, there are total term papers will be there that means four orals and six written papers will be there so let's see the oral papers are the function 3 so we have like i said function 3 means we you have to ensure that you need to just remember and have a basic idea about the what is the function name because some surveys will ask wow, whether you while you are applying uh, okay boy by, which which function you are applying if you say function 3 okay what is function 3 they will ask so we need to be able to explain that sir function 3 it is the controlling operation of ship and care for persons on board at operation level and function 4 means marine engineering at operation level then function 5 means electronics and control engineering at operation level and function 6 means maintenance and repair at operation level so what i mean is you have to be uh, you have you, you need to know what is cost pool or meol and or function 5 or function 6 you have to know that that's the basic thing because sometimes survey will we uh, you know that survey will be she need to know that you should know, you have to have a basic idea what is the name what is the fun- name of the function and all so you have to uh, check it out about that and all and then written papers are uh, that means marine engineering knowledge general marine engineering knowledge motor ship safety and environment protection marine engineering practice ship construction and stability then marine electro technology these are the written papers nowadays we know that written and all the patterns and all are changing every month they are changing their pattern and all so what my advice is we just uh, do the previous questions and uh, in my way i mean up, appear written and viva at the same month that means we can have a broad idea about while studying for the viva we can cover all the topics and with that idea do some drawing that means we have to study about the draw, for uh, like i said appear for the written and viva at the same month and uh, th- that means it's a great advantage means Uh, you will get able to cover all the topics for the studying viva and for written you just need to study the figures and all so it will be advantage every month if you are doing that so we can't waste waste time so it's a better strategy that means appear for written and viva in every month that means for function 3 written that means uh, function 3 means mainly for safety so if you appear for safety written, viva uh, in one th- in that month Uh, appear for return also that means ship safety and drone protection ship construction and all they are return also same month so that means 
we, we will be studying the same thing for viva and oral. So in my opinion, that's a one of the better strategy due to this time. Currently, it is better strategy. But it means every month the, the question paper will start at this stage. So it's better to do that strategy. Return and viva in the same month. Then MA class 4, their exam pattern and their syllabus and all. So like here say from now, this, this year after the June, March and all, the government is, uh, issued the paper that the term papers, uh, syllabus are changing and all. But still, he cannot say that every month the pattern is changing. So till now there is no fixed pattern. Means uh, the, we cannot have a core, we cannot have a relation because uh, reputation is there but uh, very chances are less. So uh, there is no fixed pattern. Pattern, one fixed pattern is nowadays there is no uh, only full uh, descriptive, no multiple choices, true or false, nothing is there. Only uh, full descriptive questions are there. Okay. Then, yeah, mainly this are basically 90 percent that we study in this uh, college and all. So, we have to refresh very hard the, the what we studied in our four year or one year GME and all. Within this, for the short period of time for the class 4 preparation and all. Then, for the Purkim, for the booking procedure for the MEO class 4 exam and all. So, like I here just uh, mentioned about the e-pariksha link out, I will also place the e-pariksha link in my description and all. So, we have to go to the e-pariksha page and you have to register. That means, if you are a new user, you have to register by placing, by putting down, noting down your email and all, then you will get a password. After that, we can log in. The simple procedure, you, you, uh, when you go inside the site, you, you will get easy understand because Nowadays, mostly for making a new, if you are registered, if you are a new user, you have to register like that. Same procedure in the e-pariksha page. I will be placing the the link in my description and all. Then we have to ensure that, like I mentioned, what are the documents and all, passport, CDC, etc., like that. So after filling all the mandatory documents and all, you, you we need to pay the fees. Fees means you have to pay three thousand. For the first, you have to pay like means. E page. After uploading all document, first click on part A, then pay 3000. After that, um, click on part B, then pay 3000. So that means 3000 plus 3000 total 6000. If you place the click part B 3000 first, that means it will be get lock. So they, they will have no proof that whether you paid the part A and all. So it is better to do this. Click on part A first and pay 3000. After that, click on part, change it to part B, then pay again pay 3000. So, same site we will be paying two times 3000. So, then our uh, the, the, the e pariksha page itself they will be showing your um, payment history two times you have paid. That means for part A and part B you paid. So, while payment and all you have to make sure you have to make sure that in mind also. And for the, our safety purpose, you just uh, take the printout at least uh, two sets of up, uh, printed of the document application for the whether it, uh, uh, whether the documents that we are upload are uh, correct and all for that checking and all. Just take one or two printout. So thank you.